say, oh, who really cares? <laughs> Uh, I, I kind of think this was doomed from the beginning. And as Prince William reportedly told Harry, haste makes waste, get to know her better, don't jump into this. Are you serious? And, and hindsight is twenty twenty. I think he's probably wanting to say to his brother, oh my God, you were so bloody right. I can't believe this. You know, and, and it, it happened. It unfolded the way people predicted it. Mm the way Prince William seemingly thought it would. And that's sad because it was, And you too. Because that's what's so fascinating. Meghan had her sister saying this isn't going to work. (gasps) Harry had his brother saying this isn't going to work. And unfortunately, Harry was completely drunk on love. And he took leave of all of his senses. But there's a lot that he cannot erase, Sam. And this is the issue that I have. He cannot erase the things he said about Prince William, especially in Spare. Fact. He cannot erase the things he said about Queen Camilla and his father, especially in Spare. He cannot erase the impression that he put out to the world that Catherine, the Dutch, uh, that Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Wait for it is some sort of bitch, which we all know is completely ludicrous. We know who the bitch is. But unfortunately, Sam, he can't just reverse all of that stuff. Exactly. And, what? And I don't think, you know, you can, you can love someone, you can forgive them, you can welcome them back. But, you know, again, we're not talking about... Here it comes. Um, something under the bell curve. We're talking about a statistical outlier, extreme, continued damage, insults, hurt, and you know it's like having a hole in your chest. And when when the hole um, goes out the back bigger than it went in figuratively, how do you heal that? How do you feel that love again, where the trust has been so trashed? so trashed i mean to have real love family friends or relationships by god you have to have trust because if you don't those touchy feely moments those goo goo eyes that passion will never be the same and so it it will feel like an act i think for all of them for quite some time and that's pretty sad Okay. Fact. So My let opinion. me just go to the original story, Sam, mm-hmm. because I want to talk about the Daily Mail's involvement in all of this too in just a moment. Yeah. But for folk who may not have read the original exclusive. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. It said, sources said the Duke of Sussex is consulting people from his old life as a working royal after allegedly growing dissatisfied with advice from American-based image experts. The overtures signal the first stage in a strategy to rehabilitate Harry that would involve him spending more time in the UK to repair his relationship with his father and potentially initiate a partial return to the royal fold. Sources stress that Harry and Meghan, who have spent the past four years living in self-imposed exile in California, are not seeking a permanent return. But this newspaper can also reveal that the couple have parted company with yet another American PR advisor, Christine Wales Shermer, joined the Sussexes in 2020 as head of communications, but left quietly last year. So she is the 10th staff member to have left the couple in three years. So it certainly feels like they have reached rock bottom. Sam, this feels like desperation. Stop it. And just before you come in, I want to share with you a post on X from the royal YouTuber, according to Taz, who wrote, Can't believe the number of people think that Harry wants a reconciliation. He wants leverage and content to sell. He might be convincing a few people he's changed, but it will only be weaponized them to fight his battles for him. He does not want peace because he's not 
sorry. And Sam, I have to agree with Taz on this. Definitely. I do. Mm -hmm. I don't believe him. I don't trust his motives. If he was going to get another Netflix deal, California, the Columbia trip also really highlighted how Meghan is comfortable stepping into the spotlight while Harry cuts a very sulky figure, unhappy figure in the background. He wants to carve out a way back into royal life back in the UK and is seeking counsel from old friends and associates. Are you serious? But a lot of this is surely Meghan wanting to right. be the star and she's not the royal <laughs> you know her husband's I, well, the royal I, I know but even like let's like reduce this down okay and factor in everything that's going on right now we're talking about freedom of speech harry totally disparaged his family in his publications interviews certainly spewed off at the mouth abusing our first amendment freedom of speech in the united states so go Going back, does he think he's going to have any freedom of speech, given all that's going on in Great Britain? Oh, my God. I, you know, this I got to see. Like, what is he thinking? He had so much more freedom Fact. to shoot off at the mouth, clearly, than he did in the States. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking, okay, fine. He wants an escape route. Um, nothing's working out from him for him. But here's the bottom line. Wait for it. Everywhere he's gone nothing worked out so what that seems to suggest is you know what you gotta look in the mirror you can't run from yourself he's gonna be back at the drawing board going back there unhappy Are you serious being the spare not being at the top of the ladder not having freedom of speech because he'll have less now than he did in the united states going back what really what's he thinking and what do you think this says about his marriage to Meghan? Um, he said something once, his own words. He said, <laughs> Hey, y'all, come look at this. I never knew how unhappy I was until she told me. Until she told me. So at that, when he said that, I thought, seems like coaching. You know, how long can a man uh, go on and be happy, always being cold, coached, always being defined by her words, by what she says, seemingly? And and I kind of thought, wow, this... Here it comes. This, you know, this is telegraphing. He's being emasculated. She's defining him. She's telling him whether or not he's happy and what that looks like. So I had a feeling this would happen, but what I didn't think was going to happen almost there would be that he would disparage everybody in his family along the way and then expect to reach back. I mean, because families, I think, want to be unconditionally forgiving. You love family members like they can step on your head with cleats and you will always love them and welcome them back. But we're not talking about the bell curve and we're not talking about an isolated incident. We're talking about years of repeated infractions, Fact. insults, uh, disparagement, hurt, uh, lies, I, you know, um, abandonment. So that is a lot for, in my opinion, King Charles or any of the royals mm. to welcome back into the fold. And granted it might happen that's up to them because families do that but in my opinion there will always be that little question mark that little is he wearing a netflix white Fact. here that little is he lying to us that little is he getting more information to put in another book is this going to turn into something defamatory and disparaging when he does not get his way so I, I can't help but believe that the royal family will always have that question mark. So my suggestion would be a couple of years of counseling, a pattern nice. of proven loyalty and reliabilities to, to rebuild that trust. And maybe it can happen. But in his mind, it seems like he wants just to jump back into being in the fold and be Prince Harry. Are you serious? You know, Prince of Great Britain, um, one of the hottest men in the world. Somebody called him one of the most eligible bachelors. 
not going to happen that way. So if he's if he's willing to be realistic and do the work, then. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Uh, he'll probably be okay after several years. But as yeah. far as his marriage to her goes, you know, at this point, sometimes I just say, oh, who really cares? <laughs>